I have been within the industry for the past um, well, 30 years. This hairdressing runs in my blood. My mom is a hairdresser, so. I started off working um, in various Afro-Caribbean uh, salons within um, North London. Then I moved on and worked for a big firm called Robert Fielding's of Regent Street in Regent Street. So I managed the salon there for many, 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 many years. And so when they went past, I decided to work on my, on my own as a, uh, I had my own business. And I did that for a while. Then of course the children were born. And I remember a client of mine came to me once and said, I could see you being a teacher. Have you thought of being a teacher? I got myself to teacher training and I, I trained at a, in the, at the Institute of Education and got my degree. And I, of course, that's how I got into um, teaching. Yeah, the staff here are well trained. They've got years of experience. The staff here, most of the staff here are still working within the industry. Even though I teach here, I still also work within the industry. I, I'm still, I still do hairdressing. Uh, it's something that I would never stop doing. As a, a hairdresser, we can't be stagnant. We can't be teaching obsolete techniques. So what we do, we go on ongoing courses. We are actually a center, a Weller Center of Excellence. So of course, we're very privileged that we do go to um, the Weller courses. We go Weller courses on color, Weller courses on, on the cutting. But I, in particular, I'm also very, very, I specialize also in hair extensions. So I also go on extension courses, hair extension courses. So in terms of developing our skills, we are forever going on courses. We are forever going on courses, be it sponsored by the college or be it personally myself, just trying to upgrade my skills. We are a great team. The team in hair and beauty is excellent. It's a fantastic team. We work, we work with each other, we support each other, we share resources, we share ideas. And so it's, it's great. And we even go to the of sometimes we also go on holidays, you know, together. We've done this for the past 10 years. At the moment, for the level one students are uh, within the age of 16 to 18 year olds. And what we do is just preparing them to be in, like an assistant in the salon. So we train them to do things such as shampoo, blow drying, um, how to shampoo and condition the hair properly, reception duties, plaiting. For the level two students, we teach them coloring, perming, highlights, and so on, so on and so forth. So we concentrate more on the skills, which is the cutting, the perming, the highlights, and of course, a bit of reception duties, because it's very important that they need to know how to communicate with clients and how to handle finances within the industry. We also teach Afro-Caribbean um, uh, hairdressing here. It's a chemically relaxing hair, um, curly perming the hair, and so on and so forth. We do a lot. For the level threes, I teach them how to do bridal hair up and things like that. The, the students, especially the level one students, have to do 540 hours. Within that, they have to do maths, or functional skills, more maths and English. And uh, of course, 36 hours is for work experience. So what we do, we have an advert on the corridor, and the students can go and look at the little adverts and then pick a salon, because we've linked up with a lot of local salons. We go to the salons to see how they're doing, and we get feedbacks from the from the um, the salon owners. So yes, our link with the with the salons within the industry is good. The salons after the students have finished their work they do um, employ our students. It's a delight to actually see a student coming in who cannot barely hold scissors or comb and then watch them gradually progressing from shampooing hair, from curling hair, from doing blow drying and then working their way all the way up and then finishing and having their own business. And one of the highlights for me this year was one of our level three students opened a salon in Hendon.